What is up guys, this is iMarksman here and welcome to my class setup um, video. This has been uh, waited for a long time. Uh, it's been paused and uh, put on hold after a lot of things I've been putting out like the uh, uh, trailer that I don't know if you, you guys have seen for the crowd control uh, episodes I'm going to start doing. Um, that came out a couple of days ago and that came out in place of this. But um, yeah, this is here now. I'm just going to be running through some of the classes I use, but all of the classes I use, and um, I've also put in a, a class for you guys if you've uh, just started out sniping, and um, a class that you guys might be able to, or might find useful, uh, rather than copying mine and, you know, probably not doing so well. Uh, so yeah, don't be too uh, struck by, <laughs> by the classes I've got, um, they're all pretty much similar, I've, I've got basically three main classes, uh, I've got up here, I've got... Um, Blind eye classes, these two. Um, they're all these classes are exactly the same. The blind eye ones, search and destroy, free for all, um, and then obviously the beginner one, which I'll get to in a second. Um, the only difference is obviously the Barrett. They're the only two guns I use is the MSR and the Barrett, um, and I just differentiate between those two. So the classes are the same. So I'll just uh, run through those three. Um, so the blind eye classes, I well. I better start off with uh, every sniper I use, um, b whether it be MSR or Barrett, I always use extended mags and speed. Uh, that doesn't change. Um, I think I spoke about that in my um, my sniping guide or tutorial uh, and tips guide. So I won't uh, go over that too much. Um, but yeah, basically this, these top two blind eye classes, um, they uh, the only way they change they differentiate from the others is the tactical insertion, specialist, and blind eye. The quick draw and steady aim are throughout. They're in the, all um, the other classes as well. Uh, so yeah, I use um, the tactical insertion basically to stay in the action uh, when I'm in drop zone, ground war, domination, uh, them kind of game modes where there's a you know the action's always running. There's a lot of kills and uh, obviously the blind eyes for the air support. The air support is unreal, in, especially in games like drop zone. You definitely need that kind of uh, that kind of perk for uh, games like that. Um, and obviously the specialist, I think I spoke about this as well, with the specialist, um, I use it just to, I don't really like using kill streaks, um, which is why also in my SND I only use support, but yeah, in a specialist, it's just because I like to stay, in, I like to only use my sniper, I don't want to get kills with uh, with their support, I want to keep on top of it with the sniper, that's just the way I like to play, maybe you guys will be different, but that's how I like to do it, and that's pretty much for blind eye, uh, these are my search classes, well class, <laughs> And um, yeah, same again with the uh, speed and extended mags. Uh, I have a portable radar on these classes. Uh, and that's just because I play a bit slower in s um, in search, just to tend to stay back a bit more. Obviously, you're not going to rush in like a lunatic, like you would be the blind eye classes. Um, and sleight of hand as well, which uh, I also use on my free throw classes. That's the main one I use. Uh, obviously, so these are the three perks that I pretty much use all the time. And the only way this search class dif uh, is different is the portable radar on support. Um, yeah, like I said, obviously the portable radar because you tend to stay back a bit more, hold down an area, and uh, support because I don't like using um, assault. And like I said, I like to use my sniper more, and obviously support helps your team out. And you've got your uh, count UAV on there just because it's a one more kill streak than the other one. Uh, that's pretty much it for those. And um, for my free-for-all, which are the ones I use in free-for-all, which makes a lot of sense. Uh, <laughs> same again with the extended mags and speed, um, and this is basically the same as uh, the search one. But you've got specialist and the flash grenade. Uh, flash grenade, obviously, you're not really going to use a portable radar in free for all. I mean, you're going to die more. You're running around more, that kind of thing. And um, but rather than using a tactical insertion, I don't think it's the kind of thing I'd use in free for all. Um, don't know why. Just tend to use a flash. Um, but yeah, specialist in this one, I think it's different. It's not, it's not actually meant to be a uh, have marksman on there. But yeah, I'll speak about that as well. The specialist cast, I have a uh, assassin, uh, blast shield, and extreme conditioning. That's just because obviously assassin. Uh, that's the next thing I'd have it from quick draw. But when you're sniping, you pretty much need quick draw, or you're not going to be able to get your scope up fast enough to kill anyone. Uh, so yeah, that's on the first one. On two, on four, we got um, blast shield. That's mainly only for drop zone because drop zone is uh, the amount of explosions going on is ridiculous. So I've got to keep on top of that 
with blast shield and extreme conditioning like I said before I just run around pretty much all the time uh, so that's what that's for uh, but yeah these two should really have that on as well they shouldn't have, wouldn't have marksman on there uh, but yeah that that's pretty much similar to my um, blind eye classes but with uh, flash grenade flash grenade yeah so um, that's pretty much it for my classes I don't really tend to change much um, it's just the game modes that I play. I mean, these the free for ones cover team deathmatch and game modes that don't have too much air support in. Um, but yeah, I think that covers pretty much all of all of the game modes with just them six classes right there, or three classes. Um, so yeah, well, um, I've I've got these two classes down here: shotgun and riot shield, which um, you'll probably be seeing in action for the uh, series coming up. Crowd control. So keep your eye out for them. I just use it when I get bored of sniping, which is quite rarely. But sometimes you just like to let loose if you get my drift. <laughs> so yeah, um, this is a beginner class which uh, I put up there for you guys. I don't want to try and intimidate anyone. Like if you're crap at sniping, use this. You're not good enough. I don't mean anything like that. It's just if you're not if you're not sniped before and you're having or you're having trouble with using um, other classes, classes that you've used yourself, this might help. Um, I mean, when I first started sniping, I was back in COD 4, so I wouldn't really know. I can't even remember what perks I used, <laughs> but um, yeah, I've just uh, swapped out speed for stability. Obviously, if you've just started, you're probably not going to play very quickly. You're going to move around quite slowly, um, so stability is a good one to have on there. Because if you're hard, you're going to be hard scoping a bit more, I should imagine. Um, so yeah, you want that on there as well. Uh, the deagle is on there because a couple of reasons. One, it sounds awesome, which I think I mentioned before, <laughs> and uh, it's not the greatest, it's probably one of the worst uh, secondaries you can have and that makes you more um, it doesn't make you want to pull it out as much as you would if you had, I don't know, a FMG akimbo if you have that kind of secondary which is just ridiculously powerful, you're going to want to pull it out whereas with the Deagle you're going to want to keep hold of your sniper, therefore you're going to snipe more, you're not going to be as inclined to pull out your secondary um, you're going to be using your sniper, which is what you want to be doing if you want to get any better um, obviously the throwing knife and the flash grenade, they're just pretty basic, you can switch them out. I recommend staying with the throwing knife, because um, that requires a lot of accuracy to use one of those, uh, which obviously is going to help you as well. Flash grenade, you can change it out for whatever you like, I just tend to use the flash, because it's better than the f uh, stun, in my opinion. Um, blind eye, this is obviously the same, if you're going to be use if you're going to be playing um, game modes like free for all, then you're going to be want to be using uh, sleight of hand, but I'd recommend going into games like Domination because there's a bit more action going on, more people to kill, that kind of thing. I mean, maybe that's not you. Maybe you want to play a bit of a slower game mode. But um, yeah, Blind Eye because you don't want to keep getting shot down. That's just going to get annoying. Um, so yeah, I'd bang that on because uh, it's more useful than a lot of people think. Um, quick Draw, obviously, this is a must. You need Quick Draw. Uh, or, well, you <laughs> I suppose it's debatable whether or not you need it, but I'd pretty much say you need it. <laughs> And we got Marksman as well. This is, uh, I'd say, pretty much definite. I mean, a lot of people run, I think it's Assassin, which is the counter to Marksman. But um, Marksman's going to help you a lot, especially if you're, and if you get it pro, if you're hard scoping a lot, uh, you've got the longer breath. But um, to be able to see targets further away, maybe you're not used to looking around and playing in the way a normal sniper would. Like me, I'm, um, I look over the whole screen, over the whole map. Um, all the time. I'm not always focusing in one point. I'm just scanning the whole area pretty much. Um, so marksman's really useful as well. And support. I'd, um, I don't. I'd say use this because if you guys are running out there with um, assault onion, you've got three five seven or five seven twelve or something like that. Then you're going to be using. Like I said, it's similar to you be using um, the s stronger secondary. You're going to be using it more than you're sniping, and that's not what you want to do. You want if you want to get better at sniping you've got to use a sniper I mean it's pretty straightforward uh, so I'd recommend using support because that's gonna obviously UAV you're still using your sniper you're not using that to get kills um, and that's gonna you know you're gonna progress a lot faster using that uh, and yeah I've got juiced on all these classes but uh, it doesn't really matter to, to be honest you ain't got many just juiced it's just just cool I guess <laughs> um, yeah, that's pretty much it, I think, uh, for all the classes. Uh, there's not much more. I don't know if you guys want me to make another video on um, classes you might want to use if you're a bit better at sniping. I don't know. I mean, you want to be using, you want to be experimenting, really. You want to be finding out what works for you. 
uh, like I said, this might this might be horrific, and you all might hate it, and I'm sorry if you do, <laughs> but uh, hopefully it'll be some help to you guys. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So I guess I'll see you later.